What's going on guys, welcome to a video on the best graphic settings for No Man's Sky. This game was on offer so I thought I'd pick it up and try it out and get the best graphic settings for you guys out there. As you know, on top of the game, that's only a joke. But before we get into this video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video if this helps. Also down below, comment your PC specs so that people in the comments and who are watching this video know what PC specs you've got and if these settings will work for them. I will also comment on every person's and pin every single person who makes a comment uh, that is better than what I say or gives me more advice or people more advice, I'll pin their comment. But anyway, let's get straight to this video. So, of course you want to go to options. First thing you want to do is go to video options and choose what your video options are going to be. So, for example, window mode. Uh, you guys want that in full screen. I'm playing borderless to record this video. Uh, but when I come off this video, it will be going into full screen. Primary monitor, obviously, whatever resolution you've got. Resolution scaling, you want that 100%. The V-Sync, have that off. Unless you've got a V-Sync uh, uh, monitor, then have it on with a NVIDIA graphics card as well. So if you have that on, sorry, that's G-Sync. I'm not about that. Uh, but if you have vertical sync on, then that's your choice. But um, V-Sync, have that off. Um, max FPS, I have mine on 160 because I have a 240 Hz monitor, but you want to have that whatever your monitor is. So for example, got a 144 Hz monitor, I think you can turn this down to 144, yeah, yeah, you can, you can. So take that down to 144 Hz if you've got 144 Hz, or if you've got 60 Hz, put it down to 60 Hz. GPU, have it whatever GPU you have, and on foot field of view, flight field of view, and there, uh, and motion blur, that is all your decision. So. I have motion blur on for this game, even though it's disgusting, yes, and I'm going to get a lot of hate, but this is not an FPS shooter game, this is more like an adventure game, so it makes it feel more realistic, uh, can I say that, yeah, more realistic, um, and then down here, scan lines, uh, you want that enabled, and hood scale, you want that on whatever uh, you want your hood to look like, so if you want it very, very faint, or you want it full blown in your face, which I like my hood full blown in my face. Anyway, we're going to go down to the graphics options, which is the main sort of reason for this video. Uh, texture quality, I have mine on ultra. Uh, animation quality, also have that on ultra. Shadow quality, I have this on enhanced. I would go standard because this does uh, pull a lot of performance, but it just looks really weird standard. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's the game, but I just have it on enhanced to make it look a little bit better. Post processing, also have that on high. Uh, volumetric effects have that on high also it's nice to see all the effects of the game terrain tessellation have that on high as well uh, planet quality also have that on ultra because if you come in to play this game you want to see the planets you want to be going into space and exploring etc so obviously you don't want to have any like bad quality disgusting planets in the in the view uh, you want them ultra quality ultra nice uh, planets and base complexity have that on high Astronomical feel, uh, astros top now. Oh my days, I've, I've, I've messed it all over. Anistropic filtering, put that on eight. <laughs> anti aliasing put that on TAA and GTAA, GTAO have that on high. I can't speak today for some reason, but if this video has helped you guys, please leave a like and a comment. That would be amazing. Also, there will be some gameplay at the end of this video of like the frames that I'm running. I'm running about 150 frames in this game, um, so I know these settings work. Also, I'm going to play a little clip at the end as well to make sure you guys have everything set all right um, of how to use the NVIDIA control panel. Something new I'm trying in the game, so hopefully, uh, in these videos, sorry, hopefully it will... Um, help you guys out uh, just a little thing i'll put in there to help you you know get the best out of your gaming pc or laptop or whatever you have it's mainly for people with graphics cards um, but that is the game we also are going to go outside and show you what it's like so obviously we've got my ship here we're on the toxic to toxic planet um, i haven't really got that far in the game because i've got two saves i've got my multiplayer save and then i've got this save that i've started again um, so i'm just working things out trying to play it on uh, hard difficulty. I think this is survival mode. Um, I'm not too sure how to view that, um, but I'm on probably one of the hardest mode ever. Um, but yeah, I hope this video's uh, helped you guys out. I hope you like my little shack. If you want to see base building tutorials as well on this game, please leave a like and a comment on the video uh, if you'd like to see that. If not, then dislike the video. And if this hasn't helped, dislike and tell me your opinion and why you've disliked it in the comments below. Don't just dislike it and leave. 
please tell me why this hasn't worked and I'll improve on my next videos. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace out.